Hello guys, how are you this fine evening? I'm good, thank you for asking. And because it's Friday, as always, we'll be diving headfirst into some unused content in Bully. Today's installment of Beta Bully will be a bit different. In today's edition, we're gonna have a look at the unused cutscenes in Bully. Bully is a game full of interesting, witty, and memorable cinematic scenes known as cutscenes. As many of you may already know by now, Bully was planned to be a much, much bigger game, but eventually a lot of content would end up being unused or even removed completely from the game. This includes at least 7 mission-related cutscenes, and one additional cutscene we'll get to by the end of this video. The first cutscene we're gonna have a look at today is the introduction cutscene for the removed beta mission named Rendezvous, a mission that was set to become available after Johnny Vincent's mission bait. The mission concept is fairly simple. Meet Lola in an alleyway in Bullworth Town behind the medical facility and protect Tad from any jealous greasers set on attacking him. After Lola and Tad are finished awkwardly socializing from a distance, yeah I know, Tad definitely knows how to impress the ladies, huh? The mission ends and you get paid. Yeah! The mission itself is very unpolished, but it can still be played via mods. I think the reason why Rockstar decided to drop this mission from the game is due to how simple and uneventful the mission really is when compared to other missions in the game. Go here, shoot these guys, the end. There really is no personality to this mission, in fact, there already exists a mission much much better than this one in the same style, that being the candidate during chapter 1. Johnny! Hey, big fella. How's it going? Fine. Where's Johnny? <laughs> Why? Are you guys dating now? No. Then who cares about Johnny? I'm here. Listen, sweetie, I need a favor. Okay. I'm meeting Tad in a while, and I think a few of the boys might get the wrong idea. Especially your boyfriend, Johnny. He's so jealous and immature. Do you think you could hang around and... Make sure they don't beat Tad up while we're talking. Do you think you could do that for me? Sexy? Yeah, I can do that. I'm meeting Tad in the alley behind the medical center. It's sort of a study date. Oh, man. One of many interesting ideas that Rockstar had for Bully was the mid-fight cutscenes that would play whenever Jimmy got halfway through defeating his opponent in boss fights. These cutscenes would subsequently get pulled from the game and replaced with mini cutscenes instead, most likely to cut down on loading time, as the PlayStation 2 would have had to show some loading screens before playing these cutscenes, followed by yet more loading screens after the cutscenes got done playing. It's possible that playtesters complained about this to the extent that Rockstar eventually said, fuck it, let's cut the cutscenes and replace them with mini cutscenes to save loading time. During Johnny Vincent's boss fight in the junkyard, Jimmy he has two ways of going about defeating him. Either A, Jimmy attacks Johnny Vincent until Johnny's health fully depletes, or B, he clears the path for Pete, allowing Pete to reach the crane and confiscate Johnny Vincent's bike. If Jimmy did this, then the following cutscene would play. Another mid-fight cutscene that was planned to be in Bully was the Edgar confrontation cutscene that would play during Showdown at the Plant. Man, we don't have to fight, just help us get back at Gary. He's the one who set us all up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Some punk school kid comes in here and takes out my boys and tells me we don't have to fight? <laughs> right. All right, fine. We'll do it your way. You know, you're pretty tough for a kid who goes to school. And you're really dumb for one who doesn't. You're dead, punk. You're pathetic. Shut up and fight. Two more mid-fight cutscenes that would play during a boss fight were the platform jumping acrobatics of Ernest Jones. These cutscenes would play in between Jimmy breaking the platforms, thus forcing Ernest to jump from the collapsing platform onto the one on the left. Thank you. 
Ah, the paddle. Not a whole lot is known about this mission aside from a few events that would take place during the mission. Neither the character animations, the mission's audio, or even the subtitles remain in the game files. The only thing remaining is the cutscene duration, the camera angles, and some voice lines by Miss Danvers, Dr. Krabblesnitch, Algernon Papadopoulos, Jimmy Hopkins, Mr. Burton, Ricky Pacino, Mandy Wiles, Kirby Olsen, Damon West, Dan Wilson, Fatty Johnson, and Cornelius Johnson. Fuck me, that's a lot of people. The only remaining coherent piece of the cutscene is the notorious Spank Me line by Gary Smith. Oh, young love is such a beautiful thing. Oh, spank me! One interesting thing to note about this cutscene is that contrary to popular belief, it is actually not set to appear during Chapter 3, instead it was meant to take place during Chapter 4, which is even more confusing, because the footage featured in the trailer shows it taking place during Winter, i.e. Chapter 3. But the confusion doesn't end there, because as we all know, Gary betrays you by the end of Chapter 1, yet he appears in this cutscene and playfully teases either Jimmy or Pete. For whatever fucking reason, Rockstar felt it was necessary to include this cutscene in the game, despite the fact that Jimmy doesn't even know about Edgar's existence until way later in the game. The cutscene is only 20 seconds long and really doesn't make much sense storyline-wise, which could be why Rockstar decided to drop it from the game. We gotta teach that Edgar kid a lesson. Ah, we've got the old Jimmy back. That kid is a lunatic. I bet if we knock some sense into him, he'll turn on Gary. All right, what's the plan? It's really complicated. Great. Yeah, I march in there and beat the crap out of him. Ah, uh, well, at least it's subtle. That's right. Now this cutscene really wasn't removed from the game, but several portions of it ended up being edited out. During the official version of this cutscene, we get a glimpse into the tense relationship Jimmy has with his mom and stepdad. In the full-length version of the cutscene, we get to see more insults thrown around, with a bit more awkward silences to give the player a sense of the ever-growing tensions between Jimmy and his family. Jimmy, please say something. Speak to your mother, James. What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Fine. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat. All I want is a little peace and quiet with my new husband, and you insult him! Now look what you've done. You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon. Next year. Finally. Here we are, boy. Bullworth Academy. Just the kind of place a sensitive soul like you needs. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you guys for watching this edition of Beta Bully. If you want to learn more about what this game would have been like, then make sure to check out my Beta Bully analysis playlist. I upload new episodes every Friday at 10 p.m. Central European Summertime. So make sure to come back next Friday if you want to learn some more. Anyway, that's it for me. You folks, as always, stay classy. Peace.